Shalom, beloved. The word. As we watch the death of many of our own, wondering when true justice will come. By now we know it won't come from a government that has made so many promises for so long. But when we think back on our own history, there was a time when we were among each other and we were not yet enslaved. We had not known this foolish nation, but we weren't living the way Yahuwah told us to. And there were certain things that he told the prophets to warn us about. And many of the leaders didn't hearken to their words. They didn't believe it could come to pass, but it did come to pass. We ended up with a nation that had no regard for the aged nor babes and everybody in between. It didn't matter if it was a pregnant woman, a newborn infant, an old wise man or woman, it didn't matter. They had no regard for their life. They spoke a foreign language that we had never heard. And yet everything the prophets told us came to pass. Although at the time our ancestors did not believe it, they could not conceive it. And yet the Most High's words came to pass. He did achieve and profit in the thing that he said, because we know his word goes out and does not come back void. There had to be an astonishment when those days came. There also had to be those among us, not just prophets that knew the words were true. Well, beloved, there's yet another prophecy that we wait for. Habakkuk 2.3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now we wait for our redemption from a nation, a lawless nation, that no matter what promise they make, they break. Many people watch so-called officers of peace, but they are not peace officers, murder with exemption, and they wait for justice. I find it amazing because many of these promises were made over 150, 160 years ago. What promises? You're looking for civil rights. One such law, this, this act came in 1866, declared that all people born in the US were citizens and had certain inalienable rights, okay? Not just to make contracts and own property or to sue in court, but to enjoy the full protection of federal law. Mm, mm, mm. If you wanna take it closer, that so-called 14th Amendment, mm. all persons born or naturalized in the US and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the US and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens in the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, who, I wonder how that's working. Property, liberty, how many Israelites are in jail unjustly? Property without due process? Nor deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protections of the law. Doesn't matter how old you are. This, this 14th Amendment, section one, it seems to have been thrown out. 
we are watching laws being put in place, these lawless laws that actually are no laws at all. But what did the Most High say? Mm. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. We are waiting for the end of the matter. For the end of the matter, beloved. Many people are growing discouraged. Many people are growing disgusted. There are states trying to modify voting rights. They're modifying so many things. They want to throw red herrings up that uh, other people are under attack. And anything to dissuade you from what's being done to Yashavel and rights being denied them. Just the fact that you have the right to life liberty and the pursuit of happiness. I don't see how that works out when you're being shot down in the street and people are waiting on bated breath to see if justice comes. You should not have to wait on bated breath to see if justice comes. But you see, there is true justice when we look at the most high. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. It will not tarry. We have been in this system for a very long time, beloved. And just like our ancestors who may not have believed that the days would come that if they did not turn from their wicked ways, that we would be enslaved by our enemies, people we had never known of a foreign tongue who were without mercy, but it did come. But there is a second promise, a second exodus. Things are turning around, beloved. We're at the beginning and not the end. It can be discouraging to see what's going on because this enemy, this unjust corrupt enemy, who has no rights other than a narcissistic mindset. There's no rights over Yashavel. Their idea of keeping power is to keep power over Yashavel when they don't have the power to control themselves and to follow their own laws that they impose on us. But that vision, beloved, that vision of a day when we are not under a government we never asked for, a government that never was in our favor under a constitution that did not take us into consideration when it was initially written, under a government that even after freedom from enslavement allowed many of those Southern slaveholders to take office, be it in the presidency, be it in Congress, the Senate, or sitting on the Supreme Court. No, beloved. But the beauty, just like the words of Yahuwah came to pass, and from what the prophets told our descendants so long ago. Those words hold true now and we can see it. As time increases, we see them falling. So a word of encouragement. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it wait for it. yes because it will surely come it will not tell you freedom freedom mm. no there's a government under the most high that we belong under 
not corruption that we never asked for, that we have been subjected to, that murders us in many cases with immunity. Were it not for video cameras, that which we know has been going on since we arrived here, that which continues, would continue, except now, just like the Most High said in the book of Nahum, he has discovered their skirts about their faces, about their necks. He's showing the world their behinds. Yes, yes. And their fall. Their fall is as certain as the rising of the sun. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. No, beloved, no. Though it tarry, it seems so long in coming. Yes, beloved, yes. There are states, 47, if I'm not mistaken, trying to change voting laws to try to keep us under this horrific, oppressive system. But no, beloved, no. Though it tarry, wait for it. Wait, beloved because it will surely come. It will not tarry. There is an appointed time. There is an appointed time, not a time appointed by a narcissistic group of people whose history is drenched in bloodshed. No, not that time. There is a time by the true lawmaker. There is a point, there is an appointment Pointed time. Mm. Yes, it is. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will not tarry. May the Most High have mercy upon us. May He forgive our sins and the sins of our ancestors. May He remember the covenant He made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Israel. May he look upon these, our enemies, and may he look upon those who are rebels amongst us and bring us out with a strong and mighty hand. May he hear our cry and hear our repentant hearts. Because though it tarry, Father, we will wait for it because it will not tarry. You said, draw nigh unto me and I will draw nigh unto you. We draw nigh, Father. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, trusting in thy mighty word. And let the anointing of thy holy Ruach be upon us as we give you praise, honor, and blessings this morning. We are trusting in thy word. We see it coming to pass. We thank you, Father and we glorify thy name, amen. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will not tarry. It will surely come. Wait for it. A word, beloved. A true word. But at the end it will speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. A word. Shalom.